Can somebody please explain to me what exactly is going on at my football club right now? I've never seen anything like what I'm currently seeing. A manager who has just got Sheffield Wednesday promoted in a very dramatic fashion, having an unbeaten record that has been fantastic. Just, right, I don't even need to go into the list of it just in this opening part. Darren Moore has left Sheffield Wednesday by mutual consent. Why? So I'm doing my shopping, right? Just a random Monday afternoon shop. And I get a phone call from my co-host of the podcast, Talking Wednesday podcast. Darren Moore's left. And I I kind of don't quite believe it. And then I look online and see this. This is from the Wednesday website. Sheffield Wednesday can announce that manager Darren Moore has left the club by mutual consent. Moore joined the Owls in March 2021 and departs with Wednesday having won promotion to the championship this May via the playoffs, following two seasons in League One. Moore's backroom staff also depart S6. Chairman Deshvan Chansiri told SWFC.co.uk... Both parties believe that now is the right time we go our separate ways. The journey of Sheffield Wednesday with Darren has been, in many ways, been unique and always as a team. In the football industry, journeys come to an end and now is that time which we both agree. The mutual respect for each other is immense on a personal and professional basis. And I offer my sincere thanks for the dedication and commitment Darren has given to our club. Darren will always be welcome at Hillsborough. Moore told SWFC.co.uk, I would like to take this time to acknowledge the chairman, Mr. Chansiri, for giving me an opportunity to manage this great football club in Sheffield Wednesday. It's been a journey in every sense. Both the chairman and myself have been determined to get this club back to the championship. I'm delighted that this has been achieved and I hope the football club continues to develop and will fulfil the dream of mine, which was to take them back to the Premier League where they belong. I would like to thank all the players, past and present, that I have had joy with working with over my time here. For the many hours spent on the training ground and in the classroom, I thank you all. The staff who have worked so hard day in, day out, I thank you for your commitment and help throughout my campaign. Now to the loyal, fantastic fans, all you Wednesdayites, I want to thank you personally from the bottom of my heart. With all your support and passion, we have created history this season and achieved our goal of promotion. This was most apparent during the second leg of the playoffs at Hillsborough, when so many people around the country thought it wasn't possible. We rallied together to achieve the impossible. Also, the scenes I witnessed from the technical area at Wembley, especially for the winning goal, will be images I never forget. Onwards and upwards to you all at SWFC. And please stay together as one. We're all Wednesday, aren't we? The process to appoint a new manager is now underway and the club will make no further comment at this time. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to think. Like That was hard to read, actually. I had to do that a few times in certain parts because I'm like, I really like Darren Moore. And I hope it's, I hope it's not a case of... I, well, clearly something's happened with the vision, hasn't it? Something must have happened with the vision. Either we've got a replacement and Rogers isn't going to Celtic or Carlos isn't going to Leeds and one of them's coming back, well, one of them's coming to Wednesday, or this makes no sense if it's on our end. If it's not Darren thinking, he obviously has suffered some abuse and maybe parts of the, maybe he just realised that he'd, he'd come this far and didn't want to, he wanted to end it on a high, he didn't want to get the toxic side of the fan base again, maybe something like that. If it was on his side, I wouldn't blame him there. But reading that, it, it's hard because I really think he is, he's a, you know, what's really nice about Darren Moore, having someone who seems like a great person manage your football club. And that is the one thing we can say we've had with him. Take all the football out of it. He's always spoke well. He's always been a really decent person. And on a personal level like that, this one's this one's not fun. I don't like this one. This, uh, we talk about low moments in the club. I was as high as anything recently with the Peterborough comeback and the, the playoff and the stuff that Darren Moore achieved. I'm even fumbling over my words a little bit here because I, I'm just in a state of shock. I think we all must be. Even the, even the Darren Moore outers, right? This is crazy. This is absolute madness. I don't really know what to say. I just want to get to the bottom of it. I, I want to kind of know where everyone's feeling at the minute. We've recorded a podcast today talking about players that, and they're all going to go out this week. It's going to be so weird. The video's going out this week talking about players that we are linked with and they are still genuine. There's genuine interest from Sheffield Wednesday. But a lot of that motivation for me is the the thought of 
players working with Darren Moore because that's been a big draw of it. That's why I am so concerned by this. Darren Moore attracted players to Sheffield Wednesday that wanted to work for Darren Moore. There was a different atmosphere in the club. I can't even explain. If you've been watching me for a while, you must understand and remember how dejected I was during like the Pulis era and all of that time at Wednesday. And it was just a really, really really bad atmosphere around the club. And it wasn't just because we were getting relegated. It's the fact that there was just such a negative vibe. The players, they were, it, seemed, it seemed to have a very much a mercenary culture. There wasn't a togetherness there. And this has been the complete opposite. I have loved the togetherness that we have had under Darren Moore, even when it wasn't going brilliantly. It was still going very well, don't get me wrong. But even when it wasn't going brilliantly, there was always this different atmosphere in an attitude around the club that I wanted with this football club. And this is the tipping point now. It could go either way. We don't know what's happening as the time of recording this video, but it, if we bring somebody in, it, even if it's a great fit on paper, a lot of those players are bought into what Darren Moore believes. We've, we've signed extensions on players on the basis of promotion and working under this current management. And I can't imagine that those players are going to be very happy because they all bought into this. You remember after the Peterborough game, there was that stuff online. I'm sure even if you're a neutral, you've seen this. Darren Moore in the dressing room um, being spoken to by Barry Bannon about how he motivated the team to come back and instilled some belief in them and showed them that they can have big victories because they've won 4 5 nil. They have done it at Hillsborough before. He got them in their mindset and he's a mindset manager. Maybe the club don't think he can deal with us long term, but... <sighs> I just, I, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. I'm really struggling. It's worth mentioning as well, his entire backroom staff has gone. Sheffield Wednesday recently lost David Downs, which was our um, recruitment director. So we've lost him. We've lost all the coaching staff that were with him, uh, with Darren Moore, and we've lost Darren Moore. I am so concerned on a recruitment level for Wednesday now about what this does to us, because we had a situation where the recruitment was really, really good at the club. It was it was becoming actually something that I wanted to see in my football club. We were getting younger players. We were getting players with the right attitude. And now all of that's up in the air. We have no idea. I don't want us to reset to that championship Sheffield Wednesday that weren't that. And Chancery has gained a lot of trust with me the, since the early days of Chancery's reign at Sheffield Wednesday. If this is his decision... I really hope this isn't a tight purse strings decision and I really hope it's an ambition decision and it's we're about to see something incredible. It must be something incredible because otherwise I have no idea what we are doing right now. I will do another video when we find out more about this. I just kind of wanted to say, and I want to put on record, Darren Moore will be up there with my favourite managers at Sheffield Wednesday. Um, and I am really really concerned about the situation this leaves us in. I can't say anything more on that right now, but I want to know what you all think in the comments. Is this an appalling decision? Is this something that maybe we're thinking of the long-term future for with Wednesday and we've got somebody in place? Who do you think will be the Wednesday manager? Do you even think we've even thought that far ahead? Is this a Darren Moore decision? Let me know what you think in the comments. But for now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things. And keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.